I'm going to put it to you simply. I want you to be our starting quarterback. And I'm talking from day one. If you work hard, you focus, and you commit, you're not only going to graduate here with a four-year degree, we're going to win a national championship together. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. It's because of them that I have the opportunity to play at the next level. I want to thank everyone for showing up today. It's because of all you guys that I'm even in this position right now. Look guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without them, this opportunity wouldn't be possible. I want to thank everyone for showing up today. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. It's because of them that I have the opportunity to play at the next level. Hey, don't forget to thank your mom. Never forget to thank your mom. Mike, tell me where you're gonna be signing. Actually, it's why I'm hiding in here. Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, I'm always here. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, anytime, actually. <laughs> I've been meaning to run into you. Hello? Hello? Who's it gonna be? Okay, okay. Oh, oh. oh. Big decision, no pressure. Coach, you want to see me? Come in. I want you to be the first to know that Marcus Washington decommitted last night. And he's coming here. What? That doesn't make any sense. You said I was going to be the starter. He's the number one recruit in the country, son. And there's no guarantees in college football. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. Bring him in. I'll win the job. You'll see. If you're the coach, how do you let 
five-star talent waste away on the bench for this long? No, no, no. Better question is, if you're a young five-star recruit, why do you stay with a coach that doesn't play you? Because he's got something to prove. But to who? To that coaching staff, man. I mean, the same group of guys who spent the last four years telling him you're not good enough. He's got to prove it to those guys. I take this. All right, gentlemen. Like Coach and I always say, the second you step off this bus, you're on a business trip. So we got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. me, you're the guy to get it done. Hey, Jojo. <laughs> you lose weight. I did. Yes. <laughs> Glad you noticed. Hey, boy. Game day, baby. Game day. Get in there. Whoa, hey. whoa, whoa, whoa. The event staff is around the corner, you see. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe. Go on in there. Uh-huh. Uh, this is for players and coaches only. I'm here to play Oregon. What? The Ducks, yeah. You? Okay. What's your name? That's me. That's you? Yeah. Well, I don't know who you are, but uh, go ahead. I'm the quarterback. What? Yeah. Mm. Uh, excuse me. You're the quarterback, right? Yeah. Well, don't look so surprised. Uh, it's my job to know the roster. I'm Taylor Bennett. I'm working the sidelines tonight. Okay, cool. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to record them. Okay. All right. So we all know your situation tonight but we really don't know much about you as a quarterback. How would you describe your style of play? Oh, um, well, uh, oh man. Hey, what's up, man? Well, I'm one of those guys who thrives in chaos. You know, even when the pocket's collapsing, I can buy time and push the ball downfield. Okay. Now, how about your personality? Or better yet, how would your teammates describe you? How my teammates describe me? Yeah, were you intense, you were cutthroat, uh, a great leader, a jokester? Give me something. I guess you could say I always stay engaged with my teammates. As you go about the week, I want to make sure everyone's prepared and ready to do their job when we come there for game day. So a real team first, team player guy? Yeah, sure, you can say that. Yo, Taylor, hey, can I borrow him for a second? Oh, yeah. Wait, hold up. You're a Heisman voter, right? Hey, I'm coming for that award next year. Look out for me. Oh, I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen. You ready, right? Yeah, man. Yeah? Because winning the national championship means everything to me. All right, I made a promise to my brother. And since I can't throw the ball to myself, we need to be on the same page, you feel me? I got you, man. Got you. Fifty plant. 
18 Gator. Ready, break. Pitch and catch. And you do that tonight, and we move on. Thank you. 
easiest pitch and catch. And you do that tonight, and we move on. All right, I just talked to Coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. What do you think? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. Wait, hold on. This, this is a joke? All right, look, Coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, this ain't high school ball, man. All right, this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Oh, this is crazy, right? Right? I need to prove to him I can handle this. Maybe playing the safe's the best option. But you don't have to prove anything, especially to him. Dude had you on the bench for four years, remember that? You need to wake up. There's a lot at stake right now for all of us. Even more so for Isaiah. So you don't take what he says personally. You're doing the right thing. Okay, all right. Have a good game.